Hello everyone, it's your little sugar plum princess, Elena Janavin, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little Q&A because I was like, you know, yeah, let's do it. So I just put on Instagram asking you guys to ask some questions, so let's go ahead and just read them. Who was your first boyfriend? Who was your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend was, everyone knew who he was, it was Sam. He was my first real boyfriend, so I really did love him, and don't worry, we're still friends. Second question was, what happened to your boyfriend? Um, we broke up because of personal problems, and yeah, but don't worry, we're still good friends. I actually like hung out with him like three days ago. We're actually really good friends, so I still keep contact with him. Are you planning on any plastic surgeries in the future? And yeah, I'm planning on getting my tits done, but nothing really hardcore on my face. You know, I'm not going to get anything done on my face at all. Probably not. Do you smoke? I don't. I actually haven't really smoked anything. I'm actually drug free. You guys can drug test me. I don't smoke at all. The only thing I've done is vape, but that's like zero nicotine, so it doesn't really count. What's your favorite thing at McDonald's? My favorite thing at McDonald's is always the two cheeseburgers, but here's the thing, guys, just a little weird thing. When I grew up, I always got, like, growing up as a kid, I would always tell them, can I get two cheeseburger, a drink, and fries? And that was it. And they're just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Up until, like, three months ago, I ordered that, and someone was like, the guy there, the, the guy that worked there was like a number two, and I was like, no, I want two cheeseburger, french fries, and a drink. And he was like, yeah, that's a number two. Look. And I was like, holy shit, what? And so ever since then, I was just like, can I just get a number two? I'll get a number two. Number two, please. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show right now? It used to be Friends, but then since I'm finished with that, I'm currently watching How I Met Your Mother. So I'm on like episode 18 or 19 on How I Met Your Mother. So I kind of like it. I enjoy it. It's funny. It's hilarious. I like How I Met Your Mother. How did you meet Eden and what was your first impression of her? How I met Eden was she DM'd me saying how she was going to help me with hormones. So I was like, you know what? That's amazing. We hit it off. We talked. And then ever since then, we hung out. And my first impression when I first met her was, wow, this bitch is perfect. Like, I remember I was staring at Eden trying to figure out, like, trying to find something bad on her face, but there wasn't really anything because she literally was perfect. And I was, I remember like, when I first met her, I just kept complimenting her, like constantly just complimenting her, like every single second. She was just like, oh my God, stop, stop, thank you. But yeah, my first impression of Eden was that she was gorgeous and that I couldn't believe she was even real. She was the human Barbie doll. How tall are you? Everyone thinks that I'm 5'5", five five, but I'm actually 5'2", which is pretty short, <laughs> sorry. Neck kisses or tongue kisses? How about both? Would you ever think about dyeing your hair like a crazy color? Honestly, because I'm so light and blonde right now, I have the advantage of going any color that I want, but I don't think I would just because the fading process is so nasty. I just don't really want to go through that. How old are you when you first kissed a boy? Actually, this is kind of funny because Sam was my first kiss. Sam was my first boyfriend. Sam was my first everything. So that's why Sam really meant a lot to me. And that's why I'm glad I still have him in my life because he was my first everything. So I'm really proud to have Sam and I'm really thankful for Sam a lot. So Sam was my first kiss. Do you talk to your dad? Yeah, I live with my dad. I think in my house, everyone agrees that I, in my house, I love my dad the most. So yeah. If you had to name two male celebs you would get fucked by, who would it be? Ian Somerhalder and Paul Wesley. I want the two Salvatore brothers. How does it feel when people tell you you're an inspiration? I love you. It honestly feels great. It's, it, it's, it's so heartwarming knowing that I can inspire someone to actually make them do what they want. That's what I want. I want everyone to be happy. And the fact that just me making a video, putting myself out there can inspire someone to do the same and just for them to actually do things to make them happy. That makes me very happy to know that I actually matter to someone. So it makes me it makes me very very heartwarming to know that wow like I have inspired so many people and I have made them come out to do what they want and that's great it's amazing it's so great to know that I have that power over someone do you tell any guys beforehand you are transgender of course I do any guy that I meet in my life I always tell them I'm transgender because I don't like wasting my time getting to know someone and then having them leave the minute they find out I'm transgender. And I don't like wasting their time too. So before I meet anyone, I'm just like, yo, before we like talk and get anywhere further, you need to know I'm transgender. Are you cool with that? If you're not, leave now. We won't waste each other's time. But if you're chill, then let's keep talking. 
And if they're chill, I'll be their friend. But if they're not, then I'll be like, okay, bye. And there is some occasion where they're not cool with it and they'll just leave. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? That's great. You don't waste my time. I don't waste your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. Never see each other again. But I always tell them beforehand that I'm always transgender. So every guy that I meet always knows that I'm trans. I just, I'm just, I, th I would feel so unsafe if I don't tell them. Career choice, relationship status. Career choice, I always had this thought of just being a cosmetologist, but late around, like, recently, I decided, you know, like, I don't want my career to be based off of cosmetics and hair dye. I want to do something fun. And so I started to look into astronomy. So I've been really curious about the planets and stuff. And so I've been really, really into astronomy lately. But then I had a talk with my Uber saying, and he was just telling me, like, you know, astronomy is nice and all, but you can't really get, make a living off of that. And I'm just like, you know what? You're so right. And plus I live in California with the lightings, city lights everywhere. So I, I would have to go like in the mountains to do that. But I feel like astronomy would be something I'm working on the side. But I do want to do astronomy somehow. But my uh, my goal as a child has always been cosmetology. So I have to stick with that. Do you plan on moving to LA? Actually, a lot of I noticed that a lot of YouTubers always end up moving to LA. But... I'm completely opposite. I kind of want to move to New Orleans because I love jazz music. And New Orleans is like the home of jazz music. And it's just the city. Like, New Orleans seems amazing and beautiful. So if I were to move anywhere, it would definitely be New Orleans. So you'll see me there, you guys. What kind of extensions do you wear right now? Right now, I have in here the blonde is from Eva Wigs. And the brunette in the back is from Valencia Rose. They're all installed in my head. I don't really have any clip-ins right now. This is all installed into my head. So I wash my hair with this. I shower with this. Basically everything. I do everything with it. I swim with this. So I basically ended up adding more hair than usual. So whatever. Can you speak Vietnamese? Sure. Xin chào các bạn. Tân cứ tui là Elena Genevieve. How do you deal with the haters? Honestly, what can I do? Honestly, they can hate all they want. It's whatever's. Tips for a new YouTuber. My tip is to just do what you want to do. Don't make videos just because someone else does it. Just do what you do. Post the content you enjoy watching. That's what I do. I post contests of videos that I enjoy watching. And yeah, just do what you do. And whatever you do, just stay positive throughout the time. And just keep yourself updated with the trends. And just... Associate yourself with everyone comment on other youtubers get your name around just do that like make a platform for yourself build like a name for yourself That's my biggest tip for any new youtuber, but the main one is just Don't stop working because hard work really does pay off Anyways, that's all the questions I'm gonna do for now. I'll definitely do more Q's and A often, but that was for tonight. A quick little Q and A, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.